Today we will be fabricating reality with Photoshop and stable diffusion, creating a scene like this, from this photograph. First, we will remove any stray hairs in the picture, with the spot healing brush tool. After that we will retouch the skin with the patch tool. Duplicate the current layer and drop the opacity down and work on that layer. Export the picture and load up Stable Diffusion, select the model you will use in the generation in the top part, go to the Image to Image tab, and import the picture into the tab and to the control net source. Put the positive and negative prompts. The settings will be in the video description as well a link to Stable Diffusion installation and control net. In the Control Net tab, select the Line Art Preprocessor and the Line Art model. Enable the Control Net and create a preview just to be sure it works. Press Generate. After the image is rendered, press Send to Extras. Select the Upscaler, 4x Ultra Sharp. Set the Resize Scale to 3 and press Generate. Load the upscaled image back into Photoshop. And create a mask. And mask out the generated model for the real one. Create a hue slash saturation adjustment layer. Adjust the colors. Experiment with different settings and color moods. Mask out parts of the model you don't want to oversaturate. Create a Curves Adjustment Layer. Pull up the black point and push down the white point. Adjust the curve like a wave. Mask out parts of the model on the curves layer. Create a vibrance adjustment layer and boost the vibrance. Mask out parts of the model on the vibrance layer. Create a new layer and fill it with pure black. With the elliptical marquee tool, create random shapes, fill the selected area with a random color.
Go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Select a value that blurs the edges well. Set the blending mode to screen, lower the opacity of the layer. Open a hue saturation panel and adjust the colors. Create a mask and paint in some areas. Go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter. Open the Effects tab and give the image, vignette and some grain. Like and subscribe if you find this useful, I will answer questions in the comments regarding this guide.